Today I'm presenting our paper on approximate neural architecture search via operation distribution learning. The standard paradigm in NAS is to find deterministic architecture in terms of operators and connections. In a standard search space, this could lead to more than 10 to the power of 12 possible architectures, which is very difficult. So the question is, do we actually need an exact solution in this case? We find that we don't. Instead, we could use an approximate solution by specifying the operation distribution or OD only. So OD specifies the relative ratio between operators in the architecture. And the right illustration shows that how three different architectures can have different connection patterns uh, yet have the same operation distribution because they all have four comp three by three and two comp one by one. So we found that in cell-based search space, OD is already highly predictive of performance and architectures belonging to the same OD perform very similarly. So we could just search for the OD instead of searching for the exact architecture, which is highly, which is much easier. And we also verify our solution on four different search methods and four different data set. So the analysis and coding simply give the relative contribution of different operators within a cell. And that's why the sum to one because of uh, each uh, element represent a uh, relative contribution of one particular operator. And uh, so it is on a standard uh, k-dimensional probability simplex where k is a number of candidate operators. And we find that in popular search spaces, uh, it's already highly predictive of performance. Uh, for example, we can see here on the three different NAS2201 and NAS2301 tasks, uh, within each analog encoding, the different architectures can perform very similarly. And the standard error is much smaller as compared to the red error bar, which shows the overall standard deviation across all architectures in the search space. So here we give some examples how we would like to apply Anasort. Uh, so firstly, we can use random sampling. So random sampling uh, without any bias is simple in Anasort because of its unsimplex space, which is just a uniform Dirichlet distribution. But alternatively, we could also bias uh, the random search towards what we already know to be good architectures using the non-uniform Dirichlet distribution uh, shown here that with this mode centered on the best encoding thing so far. And we could also use differentiable NAS, uh, differential, which is a main paradigm, mainstream paradigm in NAS currently. So just similar to how we would like to uh, do continuous relaxation and gradient descent on the exact encoding we could do that on the Anasort encoding as well, which is again, much lower dimensional uh, with the difference that we now have to enforce the simplex constraint. So that's why we do a mirror descent instead of a simple gradient descent. And finally, we could also do on basin optimization, which often rely on GP models, which suffer from dimensionality, but we can just replace a high dimensional exact encoding by the low dimensional Anasort encoding. And for the experiment, we have shown that compared to the existing exact encodings in random search and two different surrogate models of basin optimization, Anasort uh, have a huge speed up and performance boost. And compared to the state of art, we find that even though Anasort is an approximate solution, uh, its performance is very competitive compared to the state of the art in both Anasort RSBO and four differentiable NAS. And finally, we do experiment on the open domain experiment on Cypher 10 and 100. And again, we see that the performance is very strong, uh, but only requiring a fraction of compute time compared to other query-based method, which can take up to hundreds of GPU hours. And so in conclusion, in this paper, we propose Anasort that effectively compresses search space. It's versatile and flexible and can be orthogonally applied to a variety of search methods. It also has a strong performance which lead to a massive speed up with little to no damage to the search quality. For the future direction, firstly, the OD is just one way to do compression of the search space. And we could uh, consider other, uh, exploring other options to do the compressed search space as well. And secondly, Anasol encoding generates a family of architectures we could be, which could be used for ensemble search, which has been shown to be superior in terms of, for example, calibration in error and uncertainty quantification. And finally, it's only suitable for cell-based search. It can also potentially in other search spaces. Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you in the conference.